when it comes to aging, no one's immune to those pesky under eye bags. You probably have noticed mine. They've gotten deeper over the years. So I've invited top dermatologist Dr. Doris Day to share the best treatments for under eye circles. <laughs> the plan of attack starts by determining the color of your circles. Everyone at home, look in the mirror real quick. Everyone in the audience, you all have a mirror. Go ahead and put the mirrors up. So I'm gonna start looking here. There I am. Oh, mine have gotten big. And you want me to put my chin down? Now you put your chin down and look at the lines under your eyes, mm. right, your lower eyelid, mm. and you want to see if it's more bluish reddish or if it's more brown, because that will give me a sign about what's causing the problem, and then we can decide how to fix it. All right, so you have a picture of what brown and bluish green look like, because I know everyone in the audience, the hypochondrics that they are. <laughs> there, okay, Z right there. So Doris says that there's a way you can fix this from the inside out. This is your home remedy that you use personally. Yes, this and is one I created. And everything's in your fridge. That's right, this, I love this because it's so accessible and inexpensive. You use green or white tea, or if you want, you can use both. Tea has antioxidants and caffeine, and these really help with brightening the skin, soothing, and rejuvenating. So this is, just brew a nice, strong pot of tea. Then you add in honey. Honey has antiseptic qualities, and it also gives a little bit of thickening, and it acts as a preservative, and it feels really good on the skin, so this is very, good for your skin. Then you put in aloe. This is real aloe, but you see yes. little chunks of it there? Mm -hmm. You have access, this is an aloe plant. You can break a plant, you can just buy aloe gel, and you just add it in. Again, give some the, thickening quality. Can you see the inside of that, everybody, how thick that is? Yeah. You can see why people have used it as a healing salve for so many different burns, and I'm finding out now under eye issues. Yeah. Okay. And it's also, it has anesthetic value. So if something itches, if you're not allergic, you put aloe on, it feels so much better. So once you brew this, you let it cool to room temperature, and then you add in cucumber slices. You wait till it cools, because you don't want to cook the cucumber. So you just put in the cucumber slices, once it's at room temperature, refrigerate four hours or overnight, so it gets nice and cold. And we have some already refrigerated to show you. Once it's cold, you take the cucumber slices, and you just put them over the eyes, and what you get is all of those healing qualities. The cucumber Here. is a great delivery. Please, quickly. Close your eyes. Hurry up, there it's you an go. emergency. How does that feel? Uh, it feels comfortable. I sleep yep. like this though. Yep. I can't really work. <laughs> they look Good. okay? I'm you gonna share this with the audience, because there are other members of the audience who I think feel like me. Or how long do I keep it on? Just two minutes is all you need. You can even drink some of the tea while you put it on your eyes, listen to soft music, take deep breaths, and you really get soothed, soft, deep puffed, and, um, and more even in tone very quickly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Deb. All right, when it comes to under eye circles, sometimes you need a quicker fix. Here to explain how to eliminate them in a day is plastic surgeon Dr. Frederick Barr. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. All right, so. We've seen the non-invasive. You actually yes. use filler in your practice. Quite a bit, I understand. Who's a good candidate? Who in the audience here, myself included, who you know, might be considering this or should be considering this? Well, anybody who really has those hollows that are under the eye that creates a kind of shadowing effect. So people come to me, patients say, listen, I feel really tired. Is that a patient of yours? That's a patient of ours, yeah. That's her. So she says she feels tired or she feels okay? Or she, she feels good, but she's looking in the mirror, she sees that she's tired, and people are telling her she's tired, and she's thinking that she's aging, and she, her insides aren't matching the outsides. So what do you do? Explain how it works. So here's what we do. Basically, we go ahead and bring her in. We will go ahead and put some numbing cream on first, then we use some ice, and then taking the needle very slowly and carefully, we'll go ahead and inject she's into those. She's grimacing. No, she's great, and, and relatively painless procedure. I noticed you're talking to her the entire time. Talk therapy. Talking therapy is great. Just soothing her. It's about relaxing and getting the anxiety down, all that stuff. It really works for everything. I'm a real proponent of using as little anesthesia as possible. If I can do it under local, I do that. I do a lot of that in my office as well. And how long does it last? The lasting for this is probably between 12 and 18 months. Oh. Yeah, under the eyes, it seems to last even a little bit longer for that particular product. All right, so you have all the options you want, everybody. So pick the one that you enjoy the most. Dr. Barth, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Sir. We'll be right back. Thank you.